Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baidu's exam prep. So as you all know that on 23rd of December, HPCL exam happened and for mechanical around 47 posts were there. And you know the pattern as 170 questions are being asked from aptitude plus technical part. But this time a newly added syllabus was also there. So guys, in this analysis, me and Abhinav sir would be telling you everything about the exam. The level of aptitude part, the level of uh, technical syllabus part, how many questions were there from the newly added portion and also we will tell you the topics from which the questions are being asked from the entire paper. Okay, so one by one we will be starting this session and first of all we will be talking about the level of paper. Okay, so guys when I whatever I am telling you as paper is not out till now. I'm telling you based on the uh, students experience because I talked to many students and that's why I took that much time because uh, yesterday complete day I talked with the student and right now I'm making the video and with the Abhinav sir we have made analysis for one to two hours we have sit together for that and guys you can see first thing is aptitude it was slightly lengthy majority of the students are saying aptitude was easy it was not difficult but lengthy and time taking. So if anybody would be stuck into this part, obviously his marks are going to be affected. Okay. Then when we are talking about newly added syllabus, as me and Abhinav sir, when the new added syllabus came for mechanical, we come live. We came live and we told you that don't concentrate more on this because that syllabus was two to three times your entire mechanical syllabus. And from that, we were saying that weightage is not going to be more. And you can see only seven to eight questions were asked from that. In this entire ESC paper, one syllabus is counted. Also, the syllabus of civil, electrical, electronics, whatever computer size extra was there, that is also counted. So that is not worthy to study all that for only seven to eight questions. And then when we are talking about the technical part, majority questions were asking the basic formulas or basic things. They were not difficult at all. They were easy only. Okay. They were very simple. I will tell you some of the questions. Hena. And then we can see the level overall we will say easy to moderate that moderate is coming just because of this lengthy aptitude when we are talking about english reasoning it was also easy to moderate okay so now we will be starting one by one to discuss that what are the topics from which questions were asked so let us go to our all favorite all time favorite abhinav sir sir okay thank, thank you sir Okay, sir, exam so more or less apart from the question which was newly syllabus added uh, apart from those seven to eight questions, uh, the questions were expected at the same level as the previous year special paper was. Okay, now guys, uh, let me also tell you that this session will be helping all of the all the students who will be giving the exam in the future because such kind of analysis, especially for HPCL PSU exams, is not available. Okay, for gate analysis, the gate PYQs also, and the ESC analysis is available, but such kind of things are not available. So the students. Like you also, when you give the exam in 2023, you have so much doubt about the cutoff, about the type of questions. But the same doubt you are not having for the gate because you have the analysis, you have the previous data for that. Okay, so this will be helping all the future aspirants and this year, this year students also to analyze their marks and accordingly plan their future. Now, if I talk about few subjects uh, which are common to uh, civil and mechanical, like from strength of materials, guys, the question was the column for the both end pin, the L effect is L, that question was asked. Okay, shear force or SMD for a U-shaped beam was asked in the question. Okay, the collision question was there for engineering mechanics. Okay, that uh, the coefficient of restitution topic is although the very important and favorite topic for many competition exam. So collision was asked here. If I go about the common subjects, okay, or uh, the newly added syllabus, then questions from global warming, Okay, why the ozone layer is depleting, how it is harmful, those areas are touched and the, of course the probability is asked. Okay, a couple of questions were from there. And fluid mechanics, the questions were from Kalpan turbine, the question related to stress time diagram, the question related to properties and about the different points, yielding point, plastic point, about those the questions were asked. Bharat net project was asked, okay, directly and why concrete is preferred uh, for building projects? Of course, the reason is because alpha of concrete is equal to alpha of steel. So what happens when in the concrete there is steel embedded now? So in summers, the L alpha delta T elongation of concrete and elongation of steel both are same. 
Okay, so when the elongation is same, of course, in winter, decrement is same. So no extra stress, slippage is not there. That is why the concrete is preferred for building or we can say the steel is preferred for reinforcement rather than aluminum and all. And concrete provides uh, good strength and durability, workability and cost to strength ratio is fine. Okay, availability is also fine. There are such, uh, there are these reasons why concrete is preferred. Over to you, sir. Okay, sir. So, guys, now we will come to the uh, part related to majorly for the mechanical subjects. And you can see the next topic from which question came was Bernoulli equation. Okay. Then other than Bernoulli equation, this is from fluid mechanics and then stability of the floating bodies. As you know, the metacentric height and all those things, question was there from that. And after that, uh, regeneration in the Brayton cycle. Regeneration in the Brayton cycle, I feel everybody know this is from the power plant portion. So from the power plant portion, regeneration question was asked. And guys, next topic was wind turbine principle. Okay, so wind turbine principle is once again not from the technical of mechanical. I would like to say this is related to the energy and environment of ESC paper one type, which is newly added syllabus. Then you can say auto cycle efficiency. They have asked about the gamma. Like if gamma, which is the ratio of CP and CV, if that will increase, what will happen to the auto cycle efficiency? The next topic from which question was that is related to the tool wear. You know, it is metal cutting part where tool life and tool wear, we study this chapter. The next question was related to the gating ratio from the casting. There they were asking if you don't want turbulence, then which area you need to like which type of gating ratio should be selected. Because you know in the gating ratio you study pressurized gating system, unpressurized gating system and there are various gating ratio and we study where turbulence is there, where turbulence is not there. From that question was there. Next question is from 5S rule is used for. This was from the SQC, statistical quality control type of things. Then you can say USM from non-traditional machining method. They have asked for which type of material USM is used. So as I don't know the option, but as I already told you for the ultrasonic machining, key it is used whenever a material is not electrically conductor, then we cannot use ECM or EDM. Then we need to go for the process like USM. Then superheated region in the steam table, they have asked. So you can see all our basic questions, formula based or basic conceptual questions. Then they have asked strength to weight ratio is maximum for this is from material science. Okay, this is from thermodynamics. This is from non-traditional machining method. So this is from material science. They have given four materials out of which you need to select one. The next question was related to the tolerance. You know that whenever we are talking about the tolerance, it is from metrology and inspection devices and which is the part of production. They also ask the surface roughness is measured by. They have asked about the devices and then the next question was from material science triple T diagram. Triple T diagram, everybody know temperature time transformation diagram. And then the next question was from Goodman equation. This is from machine design. And in the Goodman, when we are talking about this is from the, uh, you can say fatigue loading chapter. Okay, so in the fatigue loading, you study that. So they have given you all the data and they asked about the, uh, you can say sizes or factor of safety. Moving to the next question, it is HSS is machined by. This is from cutting tool materials. Okay, this is from cutting tool materials. Cutting tool materials. Cutting tool materials. Next topic was, it is type of fit. Once again, metrology. Once again, metrology here. Metrology was asking. Type of fit means whether it is clearance fit, interference fit, transition fit. Then my dear question was from the tool life equation. Tool wear was also asked. Tool life equation was also asked. Then you can see. Good many question is okay. This slide is already covered. I feel then queuing theory from industrial students said a lot of questions were there from industrial students were saying that a lot of questions were there from industrial. Yes. So students were saying a lot of questions were there from industrial industrial was having very good weightage. So queuing theory assignment model questions were there. Then linear programming problem questions were there. This, these are our industrial topic. Then you can see I center method say two, three questions were there. So two to three questions were there from I center method. This is theory of machines. You also know when we are talking about the gear train from gear train also two to three questions were there. 
and if you talk about gear train that is also from theory of machines and some questions were similar like they were asking the ratio of angular speed in terms of number of teeth then you can say damped vibration two three formula based questions were there this is once again tom and vibration topic so the weightage of tom and vibration looks like uh, you can say handsome weightage then screw jack is from engineering mechanics hai na screw jack is from engineering mechanics then the next topic was bolted joint bolted joint is once again from the machine design then sn curve they were asking ki whenever we are talking about sn curve what is the reason of uh, becoming flat so this question was asked as you know why it is becoming flat because we are going to test only up to this after that we assume material will not fail okay so you know theories of failure mssst question was there question was there from mssst that is guest and tresca theory then work transfer formula for isothermal process thermodynamics isothermal process for isothermal process isothermal is temperature constant okay the next question was from powder metallurgy powder metallurgy they asked about sintering process then when real gas behave like ideal gas you know at which temperature which pressure high temperature low temperature high pressure low pressure that kind of options then conservation of momentum one direct question was there from that then my dear renold number versus velocity you need to find out velocity renold number was given you know the formula of renold number next topic was calculation of deformation with poisson ratio means they were asking you the change of diameter they are giving you poisson ratio you know poisson ratio is epsilon lateral by epsilon longitudinal so my dear that was helping to find out the change of dia then rosettes you know strain gauge rosettes for strength of material again then dry bulb temperature and humidity question was there from rac also okay refrigeration and air conditioning then my dear grinding there were two questions one they were asking about the abrasive particles okay so they were asking about which type of abrasive particles we will be using for the finishing operations then question was there from temperature difference for change of length this is heat transfer so in heat transfer the question was ki if we are going to double the length the gap between the bodies or you can say the double the length of the body then what would be the temperature difference like you know in the conduction you study this is a plane wall if this this length is going to become double then what would be the temperature difference that kind of question was there so this was the entire analysis of hpcl guys so i feel everybody understood what type of question came and it is going to be helpful for the future aspirant and don't worry when the hpcl notification will be coming next time for the future aspirant we will also come up with a complete solution of this paper also okay like we every time do previous year paper mock test and all so guys just stay tuned with us for the upcoming session for the upcoming exam goodbye for this particular video